the Optima actually has a higher affinity by around six to seven fold compared to its parent Aptima. So this is actually really good in terms of development of an assay because you've got something that actually works better in the first instance, but also because the Optima is smaller, it's easier to produce, you get better yields, it's less expensive, but also you can see how the Aptima and Optima perform compared to each other. You can see that the Optima actually outperforms the Aptima in this situation, and that also holds true when you convert to an ELISA-like format, as you can see here.